Could you give me your name? Ginny Riggins. Uh, which university are you come from? Illinois State University. What are you studying for? I'm studying for my own benefit. Okay. And, and what's the reason you are come to Tasco to study Spanish? Well, I came here because my speaking is really poor. In general, <laughs> my Spanish isn't nearly as good as I'd like it to be. And so I came here for a chance to have an immersion experience and improve my speaking. Okay. Uh, and there is any reason you came to study Spanish in Tasco? Or you choose Tasco? I, well, I work at Illinois State University in mm -hmm. Norman, Illinois, and I've been taking classes. I've had four semesters of Spanish, Illinois State, and I knew Illinois State had a program mm -hmm. here in Tasco. So I wanted to come here to improve my Spanish. And even though I'm doing this interview in English, my Spanish has improved. Mm -hmm. I can function in town doing errands in Spanish. My teacher here doesn't correct me quite as often as she did at first, mm -hmm. so I am improving, but I'm not very <laughs> good yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what do you think about the task of the city, the people, the handicrafts? I'm suffering from culture shock. <laughs> so I love the weather. The oh. weather is perfect. And in Illinois, in the summer, you almost never have a beautiful day like today. Mm -hmm. And it's my favorite kind of weather. But an example of culture shock is that the water oh, is okay. not like it is in the United States. In the United the States. The raining? No, I'm talking about the water from the faucet. In oh, the United okay. States, wherever you go, you could drink the water from the faucet. Oh. It's a culture shock. <laughs> that you can anywhere, that you have to be careful about the water forever, not just for a little while. <laughs> what about the food? I love Mexican food, and I love the food in Tosco. I eat at the school on school days, and I like the food here, but I've liked all the food I've eaten in the restaurants in Tosco. Oh, yeah, and I've been very careful, and I haven't eaten at the tiendas on the street. <laughs> <laughs> and about the Sepe school, what do you think about? Excellent. I have, I'm in Basico Cuatro, mm -hmm. and my teacher is excellent. The, the best part is speaking Spanish with the other students every day and being corrected and learning from my mistakes. That's really excellent. Okay. Would you invite the students from the U.S. to come to study in Tasco? Oh, certainly. I would, but I would tell them they shouldn't come here to go to Acapulco. They should come to study <laughs> Spanish and speak Spanish. I've spoken more Spanish with my friend from Illinois mm -hmm. than I have from, with people from Tosco. And the lady that I know from Illinois is a Spanish, high school Spanish teacher. So she's willing to speak Spanish with me all the time at the house and while we go on errands together and when we're in the restaurant. and. That has helped my Spanish a lot. And what do you think about the, the people, that Latin American people who live in Chicago, the, the culture, the interchange of culture? It is well, good for the U.S.? I don't live in Chicago. I live in Normal, Illinois, which is a much smaller town of about 100,000. Okay. Part of my motivation for learning Spanish is that the Hispano Ablante population is growing, mm -hmm. and it might be eight or ten thousand people now, and it's expected to grow in the future. And I, yes, now when I go to the library, I hear Spanish spoken mm -hmm. in the library because the families are there together checking out their books. I hear Spanish spoken in the grocery store. So I want to be able to speak to the local people, but I don't know much about the culture. Oh, okay. I think one of the next things I will do is try to volunteer. We have an organization, a volunteer organization that tries to help settle people and help them with medical appointments and help them buy houses. And sometimes they need a bilingual person. I hope someday I'm actually <laughs> a bilingual person that can help in that way. Okay. Could you say your name again, please? Ginny Riggins. Okay. Thank you.